Yo, what's going on guys? Levina May here with, I don't even know what week this is because I'm about to go on a cruise, so I am doing two battles this week. I'm fighting Shinryu Johan here of the Shinryu Pikachus. See them right there. A little bit lower down in the rankings, but I'm not going to underestimate them at all. Um, just want to look quickly and make sure I pick the right team because I have two teams. So we got one our team four. So let's also make sure that I have my team builder up or about or ready to be uploaded for week four. All right, I have the week four up for tomorrow. Yeah, okay, there you see week four team builder. Cool. So we're just going to shoot him the challenge. Uh, should be interesting, guys. We need a UBC Week 4 challenge. Should be very interesting, guys. I have not seen our team in a very long time, so I don't really remember what stuff is for. So if I mess up, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to look up my stuff really quickly before we start. Just, it should, it should be interesting. So we shall see. Um, I'm going to pull up his team, because why not? Um, SHI. Here we go. He has, oh yes, he has Megazard X. That's why I'm scared of his team. Because he has that Megazard X, which really puts him, he has a really scary team, actually. I guess it's a little bit weak on the offenses, but he has Megazard X, so you cannot sleep on that. So it should be interesting. I have stuff to counter it. I remember kind of building form, because you can't forget building for Zard. But we shall see. I believe I brought like some weird sets, like maybe I think I might have brought like Heatproof Bronzong or something, I don't even know. So yeah. We are just waiting for him to accept our challenge so we can get into this fight, guys. I am a little bit nervous, but it's normal. Nervous for every match, and hopefully we can pull off a win, guys. If not, it's not the end of the world. We're still going to be 3-1, which is a very good record. And yeah, so... Either way, I mean, I don't really care. And next week, we are dropping Suicune, which you guys are probably thinking, like, what? How can you drop Suicune? I'm going to do this now instead of doing a change video. Um, so, yeah, we're dropping Suicune for Milotic. And the reason why is just because I was talking, and my team does get webs. If you guys look at my team right here. My team does get webs. I believe I, yeah, I drafted Levani. And webs are actually pretty good on my team. So, I had the webs and I was just thinking like, dang, I don't really have much to really switch in. Like, he can just defog or wrap us whenever he wants, so that really makes our webs a little bit weaker. And we already did a few free agencies, so we only had one left, and I was trying to decide, hmm, do I want to get a Pokemon to take defogs or a Pokemon to take Rapids, which is aka a ghost type. And I decided on the defog route, and if you guys don't know, my lot of gets competitive, which basically is the same thing as Defiant, but for special attack instead. So... Should be interesting, guys. Um, yeah, cool. So he brought about the team I expected. I expected, which is good. Let's see what he did not bring, because I'm actually curious. Um, Shinryu. Let's see. Did he bring the floor gates. I think floor gates actually put in a lot of work on my team. I'm sorry, I just did that by accident. I'm gonna get that back up. Did he bring floor gates? No, he did not bring floor gates, but he did bring the Gudra, which is a wall. Um, but yeah, this should be interesting. Now let's look over at our team. So we got, oh yes, this is what we were at, what we have. We have our Claydol set, which is going to wreck lies, I hope, with its rest, cosmic power, toxic earth power set. It's really doing a lot of work to pretty much everything, because he does not have any stab that's really hitting it hard, super effectively. So, yeah, Victini is sp special and speed crept to the Excadrill. Deontay is Rock Polish, because once again, this is another Pokemon that I saw, and I was like, dang, this thing just puts in a lot of work on his team. So that's there, too, for a cleanup towards the end of the game. We got Suicune, which has Toxic, Calm Mind, Rest Call. My goal is really to get off a Toxic on the Zard. And that's really what my overall goal is. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to go lead with Lando. Because we do have Rocks. And he goes ahead and leaves with Glade, which is completely fine. We drop his special, his attack, which is great. And we are going to have a chance to get our rocks up, guys. Which I am very ha excited about and very happy about. He goes knock off, that's fine. He's just going to take damage and not do a lot to us. And we get our rocks up, which is incredible. Now, I think I'm just going to go for the slow U-turn out. Because, just in case, I don't know what he's going to do. He might switch or something. So... He does have Excadrill, which I am 95%, probably like 99% sure he's going to have that rapid spin on it. 
Oh yes, he went right into axe control. Good. This is where we say, nope, not today, friend. And we are U-turning out, and we are going into our Victini. I am going to force his hand a little bit, because I'm just going to go for the blue flare here, and hope that he doesn't switch, even though he probably will. And if he does, we have some switch-ins too. We have a bunch of... Oh yes, he didn't switch. That means that we keep the rocks up. That's incredible, guys. I could not have asked for that any better. Yes, I am very happy, guys. We keep our rocks up, which is great, because that hurts Zard a lot. I don't know why he stayed in. I was trying to figure that out, but I am not going to complain. Now he goes into Gallade, which I'm not sure why that's the play. Because we do have Blue Flare, which is 130 power, although he does have knockoff. I think I'm going to go into Lando here. Just because... Drop his attack. He's going to go knockoff. Oh, he's going to go Shadow Sneak. That's fine, too. That's not doing much. And once again, I'm just going to U-turn out. Slow U-turn. Get that momentum. And see how that does for us. And as of now, I am very happy with how we are doing. One threat gone and rocks stay up. Which is great. Because rocks are going to be super useful to really whittle down his team, especially that Zard. He goes into Ursaring here. So we're just going to U-turn out, and I think I'm going to go into... Huh, I'm thinking Victini here, because Blue Flare should kill. He's not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. He is gonna have, he's going to have Guts, which is fine. Just means he's going to do a little bit more damage to us, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go Blue Flare. Yes, that killed. Nice, nice. Now, if he goes into the Glade, Glade's not very bulky, so I think I'm just going to go for the Blue Flare again, and let him... Oh, we went to Sabli, which again, I don't know why that's the play. But we're just going to go for Blue Flare here. Okay. Interesting play. I don't know why that's the play. Oh, he has Pain Split, that's a little bit annoying. A Burn would be nice here. Or not. Um, hmm. I'll just let him keep Pain Splitting and... Because I don't really, because Victini can really just kill stuff wherever it's at. And that Sabla is a huge threat to our team, I feel. Because he can willow our physical attackers, which we don't have too many of them this week. But we have a few. And now he's probably near the Shadow Sneak again. So I'm just going to go right back into Lando, which is our dedicated counter for this Glade. Because he's not touching us with that attack drop in our bulk. Yeah, he was Drain Punch, which is doing zero. A little bit sad he knocked off our, um, this, our Rocky Helmet. But it's not the end of the world. He goes Shadow Sneak there. And we're just going to U-turn out. That's almost going to kill him. Ooh, let's see. Knock off Shadow Sneak, Drain Punch, and something else. The fact that he's going for Shadow Sneak, I feel like... Hmm, interesting. Eh. No, I'm not going to go... Eh. I don't even know what I want to do here, guys. I feel like Deontay might be the play. But, no, because... Gudra still has a lot of health, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill it with Deonce, even though it does hit... Ah, this is tough, guys. I'm just trying to decide what to do. There's so much stuff that I could do right now. I think that the right play is to go into Suicune here and start getting up our Calm Mines so that we can really start hurting his team. Yeah, he's not touching us with that. Let's do a zero. I'm just going to keep going Calm Mind until he decides, you know what, screw this, and he just kills himself because that's what's going to happen. Okay, he's knock off. A little bit annoying because he knocks off our Lumberry. But we are going to get another Calm Mind off, which is good. And I'm curious what he goes into here. If he goes into Zard, that's fine. Okay, he went into Zard. So I feel like it... No, we aren't going to be able to kill him with the one. I think I'm just going to go for Toxic here, which once again is our play for this. Because that's our goal, to just Toxic this thing. Oh, he has Thunder Punch on it. Interesting. He has the pair. Come on. Oh, of course you miss. Okay then. Um, I'm just going to go into... I'm thinking Lando here... Yeah, Lando was the play. And with the drop, I'm just going to go for EQ. Yes, we outsped. That means that he was bulky Zard, which is nice. He didn't bring, like, Dragon Dance, which is what I was really worried about, because you always have to be worried about that. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go into Umbreon here. I think I'm just going to Wish Pass, pass into something, because he's not touching our Umbreon. I could also just stall him out with Umbreon, because we have Toxic. Yeah, we're just going to stall him out here, guys. And get a, I think, probably get a 6-0, which is great. Um, I am very happy. He had a lot of threats. I think a big play for us was when we stopped the Zard because we killed his um, Excadrill, which didn't allow him to get rid of those rocks, which really left his Zard weak. Um, now I'm just going to wish. 
Because, I mean, we can just stall him out at this point. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we can just stall him out here. He's gonna protect. So, yeah. Now we go with that, and... Not the end. He's just gonna die next turn from it, so... He's gonna go for the wish here. <laughs> you got the burn. GG. That's a si another 6 0 for us, guys, which is great. That's gonna put us probably in first place by differential as well as record. Because now we are 4 0 with a pretty good differential, I think. Let's see. I'm actually curious. Um, main. Oh, yes. We're 4 0 with a plus 18 differential, guys. That's incredible. That means that we have like a like a 4 to 5 0 average for our wins, which is awesome. So, I enjoyed that a lot. I think that we did very well. Next week, like I said, we're going to have Milotic, which is going to be interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, so that was a great game, guys. I'm just dropping this link here before I forget. Sorry that this is in the recording. You guys can probably just end it now, but we did get our win. We're getting Milotic next week. Just fought the Shinryu Pikachus. Okay, so, <laughs> so yeah, that was a good game for us guys, I think we played pretty well, a um, little bit of hacks here and there, not really f that much though, I mean, if we needed to in the end, maybe it would have, like, I, I don't really see anything that we did badly there, so I'm ha very happy, and like I said, if you look at his team, the only thing that I would say that he did not bring that I kind of I'm happy that he didn't bring is the Florgus, and I was kind of surprised that he brought the Ursaring. So that was good, I think. Also, the Quagsire really put him work against my team. Like I didn't, I had to put a counter for Quagsire on my um, Victini because I was so scared about it. So those are the two Pokemon that I thought really were going to be able to put him work on my team, and he did not bring either of them. So I'm very happy with that, and I hope that you guys enjoyed that. So peace out, YouTube.